Making your mark with Make a Mark. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English phrases. Today, we're exploring a phrase that's as inspiring as it is intriguing, Make a Mark. This phrase is not just about creating a literal mark or a stain, it's about much more. And that's what we will unravel in today's video. So, let's get started and find out how this phrase can add color and meaning to your English conversations. Initially, let's look at the most basic understanding of make a mark. Literally, this means to create a physical mark or sign on a surface. For instance, when you write your name on a piece of paper, you are making a mark. This literal sense is straightforward, but the phrase is more commonly used in a figurative sense, which is what brings us to our next section. In its figurative usage, make a mark means to have a significant impact or influence on something or someone. When someone makes a mark, they leave an impression that is memorable and noteworthy. This could be through their actions, their achievements, or their contributions to a particular field or community. For example, if a scientist discovers a new vaccine, they are said to have made their mark in the field of medicine. Now, let's see how we can use this phrase in our daily conversations. Here are a few examples. She really made a mark in the company with her innovative ideas. The new environmental policy is expected to make a mark on reducing pollution. He's young but has already made a mark in the world of professional sports. Notice how in each of these sentences, the phrase signifies creating a lasting and significant impact. Like many English phrases, make a mark has variations. You might hear, leave a mark, make your mark, make a lasting impression. These variations convey similar meanings, emphasizing the idea of having a significant, enduring impact. And that wraps up our exploration of the phrase, make a mark. We hope this video has not only helped you understand its meaning but also inspired you to think about how you can make your own mark in the world. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about the ideas and impacts they convey. Until our next video, keep practicing and don't be afraid to make your mark with your English skills.